All right, so today we're gonna be unboxing the BLF GT. It is a light created by Lumentop, but it has been designed by members on the Budget Light Forms website. It is a Cree XHP35 high driven light, which produces 2,000 lumens and throws 2,000 meters and it has 1 million candela at one meter. It comes packaged nicely in a big box. The light comes in two pieces, the head and the tube. And this is the tube right here. It's nice and big, it's got perfect knurling on there. The threads are very smooth and square as you can see right there. It comes with two battery carriers which hold four 18650s a piece. There are four batteries in series and both of these carriers run in parallel. So it's 16 volts. And you can see it has double springs, which has very good contact with the battery with little to no resistance. And you can see they're very strong and they hold the batteries in there very nicely. And there's an arrow positioned on the carrier which tells you which way to face it into the light. Button cell batteries must be used in this carrier. I use the Samsung 30Qs with button tops. Two spare O-rings are included in the package. The tail cap is made very well with a lanyard holder that swivels. So if the light spins in your hand, it will just adjust to it instead of loosening or tightening the tail cap. Now we move on to the head, which holds the XHP35 high, which is in neutral white. And it has a 2.5 amp regulated buck driver and a 118 millimeter aluminum reflector. I placed a Thorfire C8 across the reflector just for comparison size. As you can see, it's about the same diameter across as how long the C8 is. And here you can see how big the reflector is compared to a C8 host. Very large. And here we have the short tube, which allows you to use one battery carrier instead of two, which lightens up the 3.9 pounds the light is with the double carriers in it. And it's just a lot more convenient to carry when going places instead of having the double tube on there. Here we are with the two carriers loaded up, and we're going to insert them into the light. Make sure you pay attention to the arrow that's on the carrier, which tells you which way to insert the carrier into the light, otherwise it won't work. The tail cap threads on very smoothly, even without much lubricant. Here it is fully assembled. The button is lit up with two green LEDs on either side, which is a good feature. Also notice the large cooling fins on the head of the light. Now with the short tube on it, same view, a lot shorter and definitely a lot lighter. Now this is running Narsal M version 1.2, which is extremely customizable to your liking. It has all kinds of strobe modes and tons of other options when it comes to customizing the UI of this light. Now I've brought the light outside for some beam shots. Can't get much good footage with this iPhone, but I have a couple good pictures coming up.
No, I've brought it out on the ocean here. These boats are very far away across the bay here. And you can't really tell, but it's lighting up houses on either side of there. Here's an overview of some of the specifications I listed earlier. Alright, this has been my first attempt at creating a review video. Hopefully it wasn't that bad. I will be trying to make more live videos next time instead of having to do a voiceover. But uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And come back again.